In this video, I'd like to talk about the Google Search tab in Keyword Researcher. Now, it is via the Google Search tab where you can find lots of great keywords for your project. To get started, I might slide our temporary keyword grid down a little bit. And you'll notice here in blue, we have our search box where you can type in various search phrases. So the purpose of this search box is merely to emulate the way that autocomplete works when you're using the Google search engine. For example, in Google, if I type how to make a, then of course, you'll notice that several suggestions come up as I type. And if you start typing the letters of the alphabet here, then you'll notice that several more suggestions are displayed below in the drop-down box. And this is how the search box in Keyword Researcher works as well. You'll notice we have the same expression here on top, how to make a asterisk. All Keyword Researcher does is replace this asterisk with all the letters of the alphabet. You'll notice that before you buy Keyword Researcher, you'll still be in trial mode, and hence the app will only search the letters A through H. The full version of Keyword Researcher will allow you to search A through Z, the numbers 0 through 9, or AA through ZZ. What this selection does is not only put the standard alphabet where the asterisk is, but it also adds another character for each letter. So it will replace the asterisk with two characters, AA, AB, AC, AD, etc. And this is a very deep search and a way to reveal even more keywords. But if you get stuck about what search terms to make, we have this idea panel here on the left. And here you can type in the product or service that your website is about. In this case, I'm just gonna use cameras for our example. And if you look on the left here, then you'll see lots of suggested search terms for your niche. And of course, you can just click on these blue links and the app will automatically insert the, these links into the search box. When you're actually ready to search, just click the blue button and the app will start running the keywords through Google and you'll notice that they will start to appear here in the temporary keyword grid. We'll pause that search for now just to explain some of the other functions here. The red X will delete the keyword. So if you don't need that keyword, then just press that, or you can start assigning keywords to the whitelist, the gray list, or the blacklist. The whitelist means that you do probably want the keyword in your project. The gray list means you haven't decided yet, and the blacklist means that you do not want this keyword in your project. Now, when your search is done, or when you've sorted all the keywords that you wanted to sort in the temporary grid, you can go ahead and move the keywords over to the main project grid by just clicking the blue arrow, or you can select move all, and all the keywords will be added to the project. So be sure to watch our other videos about sorting keywords, searching for keywords, and using the speed setting bar in Keyword Researcher.